वेलकम बैक एंड जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द शो नाउ इज कुनाल शाह निर्मल बैंक कमोडिटीज कुनाल हाय और एज ऑलवेज गुड टू हैव यू एंड आई वांट टू स्टार्ट विद द क्रूड ऑयल प्राइसेस वेयर वी आर हेडेड फॉर अ वीकली गेन दिस टाइम अराउंड एट लीस्ट व्हाट द नंबर्स शो अंटिल नाउ इन दिस वीक राइट नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द लास्ट फाइव और सिक्स ट्रेडिंग सेशंस वी आर अप बाय नियरली 5.5% होल्डिंग अराउंड दैट 94 डॉलर्स पर बैरल मार्क व्हाट्स योर सेंस नाउ कमिंग इन फॉर द क्रूड ऑयल प्राइसेस uh yeah so the fundamentals of oil is uh, definitely not looking very attractive considering what is going on uh, with the financial monetary policy of the western central banks they are trying to deflate the uh, 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 asset prices and oil is one of them but at the same time russia is continuously reiterating that they may stop their supply to europe if uh, uh, they put a price cap on oil so it has become very uncertain right now and over and above that uh, the biden administration have mentioned that 80 dollar they want to uh, again refill their oil uh, oil reserves so uh, com- combining all of these things it seems that in short term we may edge higher towards 98 to 99 dollars per barrel but uh, i'm still not very optimistic about the long term outlook of oil and uh, looking at the weak uh, demand growth of the and looking at the weak global economy I think it it will uh, drift lower and again test eighty eight dollar. All right, so you're giving us a range of ninety eight and then perhaps eighty eight dollars on the lower side. But how would you react to the kind of surge up that we saw in the gas prices? Nine percent up for the U.S. gas trading at a nine dollars right now, and the European Union gas prices also surged up by seven percent overnight. It seems uh, uh, natural gas seems to be the new nuclear bomb right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, uh, it, the fundamental of gas is definitely not uh, bearish at all. The yeah. fundamental indicates and points out towards the higher natural gas prices. Okay. But every time we see some news uh, regarding some price cap or some of the other news, gas prices goes to t- tends to go down. But my sense is that natural gas prices, looking at the winter season ahead in US and Europe. we are heading for the higher gas prices mm. even if we like it or not the gas prices are going to move up and uh, i'm expecting mcx natural gas prices to test uh, level, uh, levels of 750 to 770 going forward and uh, my view on natural gas continue to remain bullish kunal are you uh, still bullish on the metal prices you were initially and then you were like okay maybe we've done a near term peak here what is your stance now because china seems to be opening up us dollar is or just about holding obviously with the kind of views uh, or the events that are slated out you could be looking at some support coming back in case of dollar but for many of these metals with with the energy concerns uh, the likes of aluminum and zinc how will you trade them uh, there are two factors uh, dis- uh, deciding the outlook of metals one is the monetary policy of the west which is fundamentally bearish for metal prices because the growth is going to slow down further the housing and construction activity is going to slow down further and another factor is china which is the wild card so 50% of the consumption of metals comes from china and considering whatever they are doing right now we are going to see some revival in the demand in next one or two months so my sense is we are not going to witness a sharp crash in metal prices but at the same time because china is opening going to open up and because the demand is going to revive over there a uh, uh, a minute upside is expected in near term so uh, it's always it's always a mixed view right now in in this kind of scenario but uh, the fundamental points towards no major upside and we are going to see a uh, copper heading towards 620 615 perhaps in in later later during this month or uh, maybe in october uh, even aluminum is going to go down so the fundamentals are not some small pullback can come but the fundamentals points towards a bearish scenario so you're not buying anything at all in metals uh well i i think it's a sell on rise opportunity so being a fundamentalist i would uh, and considering the macro environment i would sell metals on rallies rather than buying them at dips and expecting it to go up so copper around 660 665 is a good shot and uh, on the downside i will uh, I'm expecting it to go down to 625 to 630. All right, selling base metals on upticks, buying natural gas, and the crude oil price is also bearish for the near term. Though you could be looking at some more upticks onto that one as well in the very near term. Kunal, thank you so much for joining us with all of those strategies. With that, it's a wrap on halftime report. But business lunch will take all the action ahead after this break.